What's up guys, it's Chris here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your footage look like a cam from a night vision camera or night vision goggles. So, let's just jump right into it. Alright, to get started on this night vision effect, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open After Effects and drag and drop your footage in there. I already have my footage in the composition already made, but go ahead and just make your composition, drag it in here. And since I record in 4K, this is actually 4K on a 1080 thing, so we're going to scale it down to 50%, make it a down to 1080p size. You're going to want to come over here to your effects and presets panel and go to the channel mixer. You're going to drag the channel mixer on top of it, and you're going to erase the red red, put that down to zero. You're going to erase the blue blue, put that down to zero, leaving just this green tinted overlay. Um, if you really wanted to, which is something you could do is you could make it monochrome if you want to just go like the black and white type of night vision but for the one i'm doing i'm just going for the uh, plain green one so turn off the monochrome from that one all right next one you're going to do is you're going to go for the vignette lighting animation preset I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that over there drop it on there and something i actually forgot to say you want to put your channel mixer on after you put your vignette because it will just completely erase the old color corrections that you just did so we're going to pull that down real quick something i forgot to mention bad chris here we go. Put that back on there. So it looks like you have a nice little vignette from like a uh, from like the lens that's a little too wide for it. And now we're also going to come over here. We're going to put noise. We're just going to go with regular noise algorithm, regular noise effect, and do about 10-ish. Looks good. Looks be about a good noise amount. Last two effects that we're going to need to actually really sell this type of uh, CCTV footage is we're going to go for the. Vinian blinds, I think that's how you say that. I am completely illiterate, so I can't spell that. We're just gonna start that off at a 10. Make sure the direction is pointing at 90 degrees. And you can do whatever lines that you want, however big of the lines that you want. The uh, about 10% completes about what I found works the best after messing around with a couple different uh, foot, uh, couple different sizes. But the 10 is pretty much the one that I like using the most. Uh, if you go any wider, you get more and more. You can see the lines a little bit less, but it's in my opinion, 10 is the best one that you can have on there. It makes it look the most CCTV-like. And then last one we're going to do on here is we're going to go for a blur. Not a blue, a blur. And I like using more of the Gaussian blur. And putting that up to a, let's try 15-ish. Well, that looks a little too much, honestly. Let's bring that down to a 10. All right, after you add that blur on there, that pretty much sells most of the night vision look. I'm going to have to show a couple more effects on top of it that make it look even better for a more night vision camera look or like a security camera. This won't really affect the night vision goggles if you're trying to go for it for that one. But a couple of the other things I like doing is coming over here to the effects panel and picking a time code. Coming over here and selecting the time code text and bumping up the text size. Let's try 100 for that one. Um, really just pick and choose how, how big you want that or how pronounced you want that. I'm going to put the blur over top of that, make that just a little more blurry with it. Since it's already, um, whenever you drop a time code on there, it takes its time source from the layer source. So whenever you're doing that, it actually makes sure that whatever time it shows on there, so like right now it's at zero, zero, but if you come up to about this one is 920, it's going to show up nine seconds and 20 uh, frames in it. So, and that's all completely dependent on where in the video it is. So like if I take this layer, duplicate it, and say cut it down over here to the 50 second line pull this back it's going to show the 50 second line right there it's not going to show like 920 it's not going to show all these other things it's going to show that frame right there on it after it finishes blending that creepy frame right there that bad face and it shows that it's 4817 whereas like just a couple frames prior it was all the way down to the eight or whatever it was so just a little tip right there for you guys that way if you have cuts or anything like that it actually works out pretty well so going on from there, something else I like to do is add a text layer on top of it. Let's just say INT for interior, colon, and then bedroom. So that is a nice little indicator of where this area is. And then we're not gonna do a mask, we're actually going to make a shape layer around it. Just a small squared shape, slightly bigger than the text so that it makes it look like the time code right next to it. Um, I don't have the exact font that the time code's in off the top of my head, but if you want to do font perfect, then you could totally do that. That lines up pretty well. I'm gonna put those two together and pre-comp those into one I'm just gonna label um, location. That way if we move one or affect one, it's gonna affect the other just the same. So put that back in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the blur that we used before. So it'd be a 10, just copy that on top of that. So it makes, well, I'm gonna give that a little less I think that may be a five. Slightly less quality, less blurred like and 
nasty looking. Um, and last thing, last thing that I really like doing is adding an adjustment layer and adding a VR glitch effect. So if we come over here and glitch, there's so many different glitch effects that you can find online, different ones that you make yourself, or the way I do this to save a lot of time is just use the VR digital glitch. So if we drop this on top of the adjustment layer, that's what it changes it to look like, and it looks, it makes it look like a glitch, it makes it look janky, but it doesn't look good and the way it is right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring it in, make it three or four frames long. I don't like making these really, really long. So let's come in a little more, pull that in. So that's one, two, three, four, let's go five frames. And over here in the effects control, we have master amplitude. We're gonna drop that down to a one from the hundred. So it makes it all completely clear. And on the very end, we're gonna slit the stopwatch, making it just locking it at zero. We're gonna go forward about two frames and raise that to a hundred or whatever size that you want for this one. I like using that one. So it has like the zero and it scales up just a little bit. So it has like a little bit of showing the glitch. And then next frame, I like dropping it off completely. So this is what it's gonna look like as you're watching the footage. And glitch. Okay, something I really like doing with the glitch effect is also multiplying, duplicating the layer. We're gonna duplicate that first layer. We're gonna do pretty much what we did last time when we moved the effects around and with, with the time code. We're gonna scrape it down just a little bit, probably, let's just say 30 seconds. Pull the glitch down here. And where the glitch is, it has that first frame where it's in there, second, third. We're gonna jump it in the middle of that one. So at the height of the glitch, it's going to transition to a completely different section right there. And the time code's gonna show that. It's gonna show that with a glitch because it's just gonna have me appearing on it out of here. So if you watch it, it's gonna show like, just like that. There's that glitch. It goes from eight seconds to 31 seconds. These are little things like that that really just sell the effects, make everything look a lot better. So really with all that, you can add that in a couple more times, cut it up as much as you want, really have it emphasize the jankiness of the footage or have it where it's not at all, where it's been edited and stuff like that. And just like that, that's the end of the Night Vision tutorial. With all, hopefully with that, you guys got something out of that, something that you guys can take and put it into your own projects and use it in the way you need to. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you want to support this channel, click that subscribe button and click that little bell icon to get notified for all the different videos I put out. If you want to support me in other ways, we have my Patreon down below. And yeah, with that being said, I love you guys. Click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.